the last material, this uh, plastic part that we are having on, on each side. We're going to uh, duplicate the material that we have here and then do some adjustments to it. So shift left click and shift right click to uh, copy it. And then let's uh, right click and say unlink material. Double click on it and open up the material graph for the material. All right, so, whoops, wrong part. Here we go. First of all, I wanna make this piece of plastic um, more shiny. So I adjust the uh, roughness on the main material here. Then I want the bump to be less prominent. So I change the bump height to uh, 0.1 and maybe I'll make the scale bigger and adjust the magnitude to make these bumps uh, a bit sharper looking. Uh, again, taking the bump height down. I think I'll go with something like this and then I want this uh, granite uh, color texture to be less prominent so I go into this uh, color gradient map and take this one to complete black. And I think I also want to adjust the scaling on that one. So it's a more like a uh, variation. So a way larger scale than in this other plastic material. Let's show all parts and uh, let's copy it. And if any time you forget the um, the shortcuts, you can always copy materials by right clicking on it and then say uh, copy material, then go to the part you want to copy to, right click and say paste linked material. All right, so let's have a look. And I'm going to use this region view, command shift R or control shift R to just focus the CPU power on these parts. Oops. And I want to have a visible difference between the rubber here, this plastic here and the metal here. And I think I want this plastic to be a bit more rough. So it doesn't look too much like the, the metal here. Still, we see that Uh, there's a difference between the, the material here and this material. So maybe I want to make it just slightly darker. So from the roughness, we can see that it's not the same as the metal material here. And from the color, we see that it's not completely the same material as we have here. Exit the region view and zoom out and center and fit the model. And we have our materials ready. Last step we wanna do for the materials is to add some labels to uh, some of the parts. So move on to the next video to see how to do that.